promptly start at one o'clock. Looking forward to uh, showcasing the updated Fin 180p. And uh, let's get excited. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Adam Glazer. I'm a senior product manager here at Brone under the Fresh Air Systems. And uh, today we're really excited to launch and to discuss the updated Fin 180P. Just some housekeeping to start off with. First of all, welcome. We're so glad you're here. Thanks for taking the time to, to be part of this discussion. Uh, we're going to be use, utilizing a Q&A uh, chat during this uh, presentation. You're also welcome to email me at the address below and uh, we will save some time at the end to have some uh, question and answers. And if you think of something down the way, a day, a month, a year later, always uh, keep my email handy and enjoy. This is a great unit. This is a legacy unit that's been updated because of wonderful uh, information that's come from the field from many of you that are on this call. So we really appreciate that. What do I think of when I think, see, or when I feel, when I breathe fresh air? Well, this is what I think about on this screen right now. I think of being out in the middle of the lake at a sunrise, breathing in that fresh, crisp, clean air. But many of us, when you think of your inside of your home, your inside air may not be that fresh, clean, crisp air. And that's where Brone can really help. We're really excited to showcase all that we have here. Brone is way more than just a bath fan manufacturer. Yes, we do have a ton of exhaust ventilation, but we also have kitchen ventilation. We have balanced ventilation, our ERVs, our dehumidification. Uh, and for this call, we have our FIN 180P supply ventilation. Now we're trusted in over 110 million homes. We've been in business for over 90 years. We're really excited to showcase everything that we have here to offer. For today, the FIN 180P. What does P mean? Premium. And we're going to do an overview. But what is a supply fan? Well, a supply fan injects outside air either into your air handler or as a standalone unit. It's fresh filtered air and it will help your indoor air quality immensely. The unit is very versatile. It has either 180 or 100 CFM capabilities. It has dew point and temperature measurement. What does that mean? We'll get into that a little further as we get along here. It has intelligence and that's really important. Uh, it also has an ECM blower fan. Uh, that's for more uh, efficiency and quieter operation. It has a standard washable metallic filter and available up to MERV 13 filter. 
depending on whatever your user needs, we have it available. And on top of that, the damper uh, motor is motorized and is uh, set to close if we lose 120 volt power, you know, during a fire, during a storm event. Let's not bring any of that outside air in at that point. The unit is available as a hardwire or power cord model. And we only recommend this unit being installed in climate zones one through four. The versatile installation. Let's talk about that a little bit. It can be mounted pretty much anywhere. Ceiling hung, attic mounted, flush to ceiling, wall mounted. It even can be mounted into, uh, into a finished location. The, uh, the uh, door is paintable and we do offer a trim ring. So it blends in with your existing finishes. It also helps for uh, future maintenance needs. That industry leading airflow intelligence. How does that unit really do it? It basically, as I like to call it, a meteorologist in a can. It forecasts utilizing previous 48 hour uh, climatic uh, temperature and uh, humidity. Uh, it forecasts that for the future and when the best time to run is. That humidity and temperature uh, sensor is located within the within the unit, and it utilizes some temperature. You know, look at this chart here, utilizing the temperature zones, uh, the temperature differences. Most of the time, we would not want to ventilate during you know two o'clock in the afternoon time period, but maybe after eight o'clock would be best. And this is just an example. Uh, those climate uh, those uh, selected modes are mode one through three. The unit has eight modes, but for this part, one through three is where the unit intelligence shines, and that's where it's available. The unit also has five comfort modes. This is more of a user selected mode. This utilizes the uh, dew points uh, and temperature limits and also installation zones, which are really climatic zones uh, for, for when you'd want to require it that way, when you'd want to utilize it that way. and. Uh, it uses, it will also use your uh, HVAC air handler time period as time zones. So, uh, it, you know, it can run with the air handler or not. So, um, getting that available too. So, that FIN 180 unit setup improvements. This is where the, sh you know, the real shining happens. For you, you know, people on the call that are legacy users, this is all new here. For people that are on the call that have never seen this before, this is just more excitement. So why did we redesign? Well, everyone on this call loves to sit in a hot attic, a dusty attic, or work in a you know, tight HVAC closet. Uh, you know, darkness and losing things are so enjoyable. In reality, it's one of the worst things in life. <laughs> no one likes to do any of that. And so we wanna get in and out of there as fast as possible. And the ability to make mistakes in those times when you're stressed out to get in and out is immense. So this is where we really looked at improving the user interface to make setup uh, more precise and faster. And faster means more money. So we'd like to look at that picture on the right. That's the current PCB board. Take a mental picture of that. And we're gonna go through that, through the improvements off of that. I'm gonna point out two things, the screw, and the runtime and mode knobs. Just think about how those are utilized in this picture. The unit has been updated. Remember what the picture showed before? There were no electrical connections. There were no fancy FM switches. The runtime knobs were flush. This unit takes care of all of that. The electrical connections are above the cover. The fan CFM switch is also above the cover and the uh, adjustment switch has been enlarged. And the runtime and mode percentage uh, knobs have been increased in size. So there's no longer need of a tool like a flat blade screwdriver or the end of your finger. You can actually grasp it and you can grasp these knobs with gloves on too. You notice that screw that's above there? There's no longer any need to utilize that screw. That's only used if you need to access the PCB board to maybe replace. Everything is above the cover. Once again, the real reason about that is because we noticed in the field, the cover was either misplaced, the screw was misplaced, 
or it just took more time because maybe you forgot that screwdriver in your truck or you brought a flat blade instead of a Phillips. The screw is required per UL safety uh, regulations, but we ha you know, there's no need to actually get in there anymore. The unit operation LED code, light, I should say. Presently, uh, as a unit uh, pre-update, that LED code light is located behind the cover. We had a lot of confusion in the field if the unit even worked. And what, you know, when you question if the unit even works, well, then everyone's questioning it from the installer to the, to the rater and even the homeowner at the end. We also utilize a red means bad, green means good LED color scheme, and we expanded on the code modes just to make the, more, the unit more user intuitive. And this is the big thing. How many times have all of us lost instruction sheets? It happens quite a bit. Uh, it also happens quite a bit if you have more than one person utilizing the installation of this unit. So from a contractor to a rater to a homeowner, how many of those actually do the instruction sheets show up for the whole time? Maybe they get thrown away right away. Maybe they get thrown away the second, who knows? But without those instruction sheets, there's a lot of confusion on how to set up the unit. The instruction sheets have been placed on the unit's cover. They are now uh, visible, right in you know, right in your vis right in your face. You don't have to uh, you know quick reference stuff like that. Uh, you don't have to worry about if you say, "Man, I want to finish this in uh, set this up in a finished location." These do these do remove uh, for paint paintability, and uh, but if not, these are always available to between the contractor, the rater, and the future homeowner, they'll always be there for quick reference. We also added a QR code to the unit front. That QR code is really, really beneficial because it's always updated. It takes you to the FIN 180P landing page, the spec sheets, the installation guides, all that will always be right there if you need a quick reference. It also has any parts list and stuff like that for the future. Filters, um, good, good add there so that it will always be available, always be updated. And the last is the airflow verification. We added a test nipple instead of just a cover. The real reason behind that were twofold. One is when you install the ductwork, a lot of times we noted in the field, the ductwork was taped over that uh, test area and that would cause issues for our raters. Uh, number two is test uh, being more precise in your test requirement or test usage. So when you use your manometer, instead of just putting those your tubes inside those holes, the manometer tubes actually uh, attach precisely to that test nipple. So that just adds for more better user testability and quicker testing. So that's really the excitement on that. Um, we noticed a ton of uh, updates, like I said, from the field that those were covered up and it required more labor to open them up. And with that, that's our update on the Brone Fin 180P. We're really excited to showcase this unit. My email address is on the screen. I'm available at any time to answer any of your questions. And we're really excited to promote this in the field and really look forward to talking to you about it. And from here on out, I'd love to know if we have any questions out on the Q&A or if anyone has any questions on the call. Okay. I don't see any questions yet. You can raise your okay. questions in the chat or put them in the Q&A and we'll um, be happy to answer those. Should be noted that this unit will be available here uh, in the next two weeks. Look forward to showcasing it to everyone uh, that uh, wanna see it. And if you have any questions after this call, the account representative in your district and your region would be glad to help too. Great. We do have one question. Uh, you will be, all of you on the call, will be getting uh, a follow-up email on this, which will include the video recording that we did today. So you will have all that information. And should you need additional information uh, once you see that video, please reach out to Adam. 
Another question just came in, Adam. Okay. Do we have a contractor in Las Vegas? We have a contractor in Las Vegas. I'd have to look that up. Sure, we do. I can get you the exact. Uh, can we get your contact information? We can email you that back. Yep. Okay, perfect. All questions I will, we will have a transcript of and we can directly contact you back. Perfect. Any other questions? Give it one more minute and Adam, anything else to add as we're waiting for other questions to come in? No, just like I said, I'm really excited to promote it. Please, uh, after this call, think about your questions, about how we can help you more. And as uh, we go forward, we always look forward to your feedback. So please add, add any of that at any time. Perfect. All right, I think we're good with the questions. Okay. Oh, hold on one oh. second, one more came in. All right. Uh, CFM ranges for the unit. Yeah, we have 130 and 100 CF 180 CFM, up to 180 though. And we can even get, I can get you that spec sheet if you'd like. It's again, just need the uh, contact information. I'd be glad to get that to you. Certainly. Uh, another question came in and um, they're asking, is this the only option for a finished area inside the home? Is this the only option for fit? No, we have ERVs that also you can put into a finished area of a home too. So um, we can easily get you that information for any more finished uh, locations. Um, the question just came in uh, from Sam. Your okay. information uh, should be already transcribed um, if you signed up for this webinar. Um, if you would like, you can also share your information uh, directly to Adam Glazer. Um, his email is on the screen, but I can spell it out. A-D-A-M dot G-L-A-E-S-E-R at brone.com if you want to contact him directly. Otherwise, all questions are being transcribed and we can get back to you one on one. We'd be glad to work with you on any of your questions outside of this FIN 180P, also. So it's in fresh air. We're glad to help. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining. We appreciate it. Again, we will be sending out a copy of this video to all of you via email. It will also be posted up on our YouTube channel um, at Brown New Tone. So we'll look forward to uh, having you join additional webinars. Keep up to date on our website as well as our social channels for other upcoming events. We do have a lot of great things planned throughout the year. All right, thank you everyone for your time. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.